What's going on YouTube? I'm E and this is Simply Put Sense. On this channel, I hope you guys save time and money by steering you guys in the right direction towards fragrances that are really, really on point. So do consider hitting that subscribe button because I do this weekly and I love what I do. So yeah, let's get back to this thing. I have an unboxing for you. I'm really, really excited to open up this package. This will be my first Montal purchase. So I was able to get this bottle from Olivia Pope's sister, America Butler Pope. <laughs> She's actually a really cool person I met through Facebook fragrance groups and she had this bottle on sale. And guys, keep her in mind, if you're on Facebook, do friend request her on Facebook if you catch her because honestly, she has some really cool fragrances that she sometimes just likes to move. You know what I mean? So if you're looking for a really trustworthy seller, America Butler Pope, she's that. I'm so excited to open up this package, guys. You have no idea. This will be, again, like my first Montal. I smelled a few of their fragrances before. Really, really like them. Um, found them a little bit loud and at times a little bit cloying and annoying. But I heard some really good things about Intense Cafe, so I'm really curious, guys. Let's go. Russian doll. Here we go. Russian dolls. <laughs> but you gotta be safe. You gotta appreciate that she does all this. I really wasn't expecting the box. Okay. Hmm. A few moments later. Okay, so <laughs> I had to stop the video and look for the cap because it came off when I opened it. Very carelessly, I might add. I definitely opened it carelessly. <laughs> anyway, here's the bottle. Here's the box that doesn't really match the bottle, but hey, I really appreciate having something to protect it. Thanks a lot, America. I really appreciate it. But anyway, there's the bottle, there's the box. There was the box. Guys. Hmm. America, you said there was only six sprays missing. <sighs> we gotta talk, America. <laughs> it's all good. Actually, I'm just glad I got the fragrance. So, um, yeah, let's get into this. Now, guys, as you know, in my first impressions videos, if I'm feeling a fragrance, it's gonna get that maybe. Hit it. And if I'm not really into a fragrance and it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing on my skin, well, it's gonna get that womp womp and it goes a little something, something like, like this. this. Hit it! We're gonna spray this on and see what it does. Let's go. I spray it once. And I heard about Montal, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Hmm. Interesting. I'm kind of surprised because I expected Intense Cafe to be an intense coffee scent. <laughs> and honestly, what I'm getting more than anything is rose. Not necessarily a bad thing, but just not what I expected, you know what I mean? Like, when you hear something intense cafe, you don't expect coffee mixed with a lot more rose. Like, I would say the predominant note in this scent is definitely rose, not coffee, which is shocking. It's sweet. It definitely doesn't smell designer. I know a lot of times Montal gets a bad rap for doing like really synthetic niche fragrances. 
but I could tell this fragrance is not a designer scent. Like it's obvious that it's not designer. It's extremely strong. Like the first few minutes, it's just boom off my skin. I only sprayed it one time and it's just really, really hitting my skin like crazy. It's strong, but it's not like a thick, thick scent. You know what I mean? There's a little bit of air in this scent. It's not like overwhelmingly dense, which I like. I definitely smell a lot of vanilla also. The coffee in this fragrance is almost like a distant third. See, I get mostly rose, vanilla, and then coffee. I can imagine like this doing well on a date if you don't go too crazy with the sprays. Cause it's kind of, it's kind of like a gourmand. It's kind of edible. I really like this. I wouldn't say the coffee is the most realistic. The vanilla is very decent. The overall scent leans dark. I wouldn't say this rose is feminine. It I actually want to hang out for an hour or so and get back to this, come back and let you guys know what I think about this fragrance and see what it's doing on my skin. Give me a few minutes, I'll be right back. One hour later. Okay guys, so it's been an hour and um, I gotta admit guys, I'm really, really liking this fragrance the more I've smelt it. It's just wafting through the air off one spray and it's probably just as strong as it was the first time I sprayed it till now. Like, it's not really like weakened that much since the first time I sprayed it, which is a great sign that this scent is gonna last a very, very long time. It's left a really strong, oily sheen on my wrist. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but that's some oily stuff right there. And people hate on Dua, but yeah. When a scent is strong, guys, it's gonna have a strong oil concentration and that oil is gonna stick. <laughs> And it should, if you want your scent to last long. It's funny, people will be like, oh, that fragrance is so oily. And damn, these fragrances, they don't last long. It's like, really, pick one, my dude, pick one. It's just funny. Anyway, that's some really oily stuff glistening off my wrist. I would definitely say Intense Cafe gets the lady. Come on, girl. This is a really nice night out fragrance. Another seductive scent, another fragrance I think women would like. Another compliment getting sent that I can imagine would work. Like, I can't wait to test this fragrance out to see if it lives up to what I think it will probably do, which is really well with other people. <laughs> I just can't keep my wrist out my face, guys. That's a good sign. Absolutely. Anyway, guys, have you ever smelled Montal's Intense Cafe? First off, what are your favorite Montal fragrances? What should I be paying attention to from this particular house? I'm curious. Let me know, guys. I'll let you know up here how long this fragrance lasted on my skin. And I actually really look forward to doing a review on this. I think I'll like push it up the queue a little faster because I really like the way this smells. Like this is the type of scent that I I, I kind of appreciate. Like if I were to nitpick, I would say ah, it's this, it's that. And, mm. But to be honest with you guys, I really just enjoy the scent. I really just like the way it smells. It's not the most amazing quality, but I really like the way it smells. And again, the quality isn't that crappy. It definitely doesn't smell like a designer scent, which a niche scent shouldn't, you know. So it's not the highest quality, but it's nowhere near like the lowest quality either. And you can get these fragrances for a really, really good price nowadays. So, oh man, this is, this is good stuff. But I'm a big fan of vanilla guys. And I really do like rose. I don't hate rose. Matter of fact, I definitely own a few rose fragrances. They definitely tend to lend on the dark side. And this kind of does too. Guys, let me know what you think about this fragrance. Comment down below. And of course, do subscribe. And of course, subscribe to Simply Put Sense if you haven't already. I would appreciate your support. Thanks so much again for watching, guys. I'm E. This is Simply Put Sense. And I'm Simply O-U-T. Peace. In this first impressions video, she's going to be the lady.
Bye, Felicia. <laughs> and as you guys know, in my first impressions video, if I'm really into a fragrance, it's gonna get the lady. And if I'm not really into a fragrance, it's gonna get that womp womp. And that goes a little something like this. Hit it! Hit it. Mm -hmm.